Okay, so here's a nice little tutorial that I'm making uh, showing Discovery Launchpad um, and uh, the Freelancer Companion tool. These are must uh, must have programs if you're playing on the Discovery server. So you're going to open up your internet browser. Uh, you're going to go to Discovery um, Gaming Community, uh, discoverygc.com. Uh, click Index. You're going to go down here to Tutorial and Support. Um, for some reason, they removed uh, the official download link. However, if you scroll down, you'll find Discovery Launchpad version 1.3. So you're going to click on that. Uh, here's a, a very, very detailed uh, account of how to use the Launchpad and all the different features on it. It's, it's worth reading. A lot of useful information. Um, you're you're going to have to make sure you have the .NET framework uh, updated, um, which I think Windows Update goes up to 4.0 at this point. So um, if you've done your full Windows Update, you won't need this. If you're still using XP or something like that, yeah, you might want to go ahead and install this. Um, so you're going to click on Discovery Launchpad version 1.3 full. It's going to take you to Mediafire, I believe. Yeah. Uh, you're going to click download. You're going to go ahead and download this program. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to do this crap. See, there it goes. Where'd this pop up go? Let's minimize this. Let's get rid of this pop up. So that's going to download and install and everything else. Um, I've already got it downloaded and installed. Uh, I'm currently on my cell phone, so my my download speed is pretty crappy. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. Um, you, however, will want to continue the download. I'm also going to put this link here um, attached to the video fire or the the, uh, the video file on uh, YouTube, so you can go directly to here and download it. Uh, just in case for some reason it gets moved around on the forums again. So we're going to go ahead and minimize this. Um, and here's the link to it. Um, which, you know, depending on where you install it, you might have to make your own link. Okay, so we're going to run this. Um, now, there is all kinds of wonderful stuff you can do here. Uh, first off, you're going to set your uh, launch directory to wherever you installed the game. So you're going to open that and say here, my computer, Windows 7, games, Discovery Freelancer. Okay. Okay, so now my launch directory is set. Um, here's all these wonderful little tiny options here. Um, you can go full screen, wide screen, or windowed wide screen. Um, it's it's up to you. Uh, I prefer full screen on my desktop, uh, windowed on my home computer, or on my netbook. Um, you can manually set the wide screen. If you click that little button, it will set it to whatever your desktop is set at. Um, now you've also got all this other wonderful stuff. Uh, I'd go ahead and just leave it, uh, whatever the default settings are. Um, over here you're going to have your list of accounts um, that you have set up with uh, with this. Um, here's the important thing. When you first launch it, it's going to pull up that you have an unsaved account. You're going to save your account. Um, you can edit your accounts. Didn't realize it was going to do that, but uh, so you can you can edit your accounts, uh, rename them, whatever. As long as your code and signature remain the same, don't ever mess with those. Um, so you're going to click save. It's going to save your account. Now, if you click accounts and export, export to ADF. Um, here it's going to if you want to only export the selected account or all of the accounts on your list. 
you're always going to want to export all of the accounts, so say no. Now it'll pull up this. going to want you to type in a file name um, you know so name it whatever you want uh, for, for these purposes I will just put in test and click save now your account has been exported so what you'll do now is you'll send that exported ADF file uh, over to you know someone else's computer or another computer where you have that uh, set up uh, where you have freelancer running and you'll uh, go to account import from ADF you'll import the file um, on that computer and so you'll end up with uh, your account which you know here test account number one and then their account um, which for this purpose I, I don't have an extra account on here to really show you uh, what you'll do is uh, uh, save, accounts, export, ADF, do it all over again. You can overwrite the original ADF uh, file, which was named test. Um, once again, send it to the next computer. Uh, do the same, the whole process all over again. When you have all the accounts that you want saved onto that file, email that file to yourself. It's a really small file size. Um, you take that, uh, once it's emailed, uh, Save it in, in a directory or something in your email, an extra folder, whatever. Hold on to it. You'll never lose your accounts as long as you have that in your email. Um, you can always, you know, download it, import it again. Uh, makes it real easy. Um, here's one of the other features. Uh, say you have too many characters on an account. The account gets full, whatever. You need a new one. You can click New. Uh, you can click generate a bunch of times. Uh, these will generate random codes for you. Name it. Click OK. There you go. You have a whole other account to play with. Um, so that's how that's how uh, Launchpad works. Uh, you know, launch client launches the game. Um, Boom! You're you're pretty much done here. Uh, oh yeah! After you make your second, you, you know, any new accounts, always save and export it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close this now. So we're going back onto the internet. We're going to look up Freelancer Companion. Okay, so now here you go, you're at Wizu's website. Um, you're going to download this program. This program has all kinds of neat features to it. Um, so get it, once you get it installed, you're going to launch it. Um, yes, it can take a while to load, so just sit and wait. Okay, here's the program. Uh, first thing you're going to do is click game, import from running game, uh, base prices, dynamic economy. Make sure that you always have that selected. Um, in this case, I do not have a game running. Um, that doesn't matter though. <clears throat> Just to kind of show you. If you click view, universe map, there's an entire map of the universe. It's every system, everything inside of every system. Um, so we'll start off here uh, in Pennsylvania. That's where you start off in the game. Here's the Pennsylvania system. Um, you can zoom in. This is how you find jump holes and stuff. See, so you go D6. We got Texas jump holes in the corner of D6. Here's Planet Erie. It's where you start. Um, just really great tool to have. Um, you can find where mining fields are in every system down here. Uh, by clicking this, see, it'll highlight the field. There's the helium. Let's see, silver is up here. Uh, very, very, very good tool to have. Uh, one of the other features is uh, uh, 
trading routes. Now here, Allentown Base, which is over here, is a Junker Base. Uh, they sell neon. Um, what it has selected to uh, as default is profit and distance. Um, this will make you the most amount of profit the quickest. Uh, here's your profit per unit is 1,735. And it takes 14 minutes and 9 seconds to make this route. Now you can choose just profit overall. Um, let's see, go down to neon. Neon to Omicron Gamma. So we'll select that. See, that's taking you to Corsair Base. For 2,542. Takes 21 minutes and 40 seconds. Um, now, if you click View, since you have this selected now, Universe Map, it will show you the quickest route to get from Pennsylvania to Omicron Gamma. Each stop along the way, you can click on a specific system and find out exactly where your jump holes are. Um, so, you know, like I said, great, great tool. See, we'll go here to New Berlin. Um, they've got this wonderful scrap field here by uh, Kreuzberg Depot. It's a junker base. Watch, let's see. See, junkers. Um, so you could, you know, go out there as a junker, harvest a bunch of scrap. Now, if you go to View Item Repository, Select this, Commodity. Here's all of your commodities. Well, we're going to scroll down to Scrap Metal. And we're going to find out exactly who pays the most for it. And that would be Leipzig Station in Dresden. For 2466 per unit. So we'll double click on that. Shows you right where it's at from New Berlin. Or we're right where the system is, which is under New Berlin. View Universe Map, look at that, New Berlin, Dresden. Real short run, lots of profit. Um, there's other stuff you can do with the item repository, uh, like commodities, uh, let's say, you're going to buy con some consumer goods. Okay, here, we'll show you where it's bought, or where it's sold for the, the least. Um, probably won't go into Gaelic space, you'll Let's see. Okay, New Tokyo for 201. When you click here, this is where it's sold for the most to the Corsairs for 1,922. Not the greatest of profit, but there's plenty of other stuff. Cryo cubes, uh, that's a good one. Show it where to buy it for the cheapest, where it sells for the highest. So that'll give you a good idea uh, where to go. Uh, say, like, okay. You're going to want to buy here, Planet Mane. Double click on it, boom, you're in the system. There's the planet in Maine. Click Universe Map, look at that, Maine. Little green dot shows you right where you're at. So um, that's the end of this tutorial. Uh, have fun.